Judy and Brian, can you hear me? Yes. All right, we will call the meeting to order at six o'clock. Welcome everybody. First on the agenda, are there any changes or additions, Dan? Yes, please, I have two. Um, I have a, another road name, and um, I have uh, alternate, our member and alternate to the Loyal Union Communication District. For uh, Judy and Brian, I just emailed that form to you. Did you hear that, Brian? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. Next, approve the minutes. The, approve the minutes of February 16th, 2021. Oh. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Gary. Um, is there any further discussion? All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And I'm aye as well. Motion is passed unanimously. Now the minutes of select board February 22nd, 2021. So I have a motion by Eric and a second okay. by Gary. Is there any further discussion about them? All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. I'm aye as well. Motion is passed unanimously. Next is community concerns. Do we have anybody out here with uh, community concerns this evening? Hearing none. We'll move on to liquor control. I believe motion to enter liquor control board. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And I'm aye as well. We are now in liquor control. <clears throat> so we have Sarah. Can you hear me? Sarah's not going to be on. Oh, she's not going to be on? Are you handling it tonight? I am. And the chief has already refused these. There were no problems with them. Okay. Make a motion that we approve the six applicants for renewal. All right. I have a motion by Eric. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Gary. Is there any further, further discussion on these? All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And I as well. Motion is passed unanimously. So I hear a motion to come out of liquor control. So moved. I have a motion and a second. Second okay. by Gary. All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. Motion is passed. We are now out of liquor control, back into regular stock board meetings. <laughs> Next, we have new business. Number one, contract for town wide reappraisal. Who do we have to talk about this? I think the Lane and uh, Charlie, uh, two of the are on live to talk about it. Hi, Dwayne and Charlie. Can you guys hear me? Do you guys have anything to say about this? No, but available for questions if you have any questions. I, I okay. outlined the uh, proposals in the letter that I sent both to you and Dan. Uh, the proposals are there to be reviewed if you'd like. Uh, one is only 147 pages. Uh, the other one's maybe a dozen pages. But I, I think we had a good representation of the two bids uh, for what we're looking for. So um, the recommendation that uh, Terry made to the board of listeners, which we all concurred that uh, Nemrick uh, a company we're acquainted with, familiar with, Vermont-based. Uh, this is where we'd like to go, and it's almost twenty thousand dollars less than the other one. And, and I think another important thing, Bob, is that uh, the funds are available. There will be no additional monies needed to uh, do this reappraisal. That sounds good. Is there any questions by the board? I, I have a question, Dwayne, about the digital pictures in the contract. This uh, CAMA database. 
Is that something you folks will have access to even after this is completed? In the event we have people yes, calling Yeah, yes, yes. That stays with us even after everything's done. Hi. Uh, yes, it, yes, they will. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's my lack of knowledge of how you folks do all that stuff. Is there any other questions out there? Do I hear a motion regarding that? Uh, I don't see the dollar on my paperwork. There is 257.40. Right in front. That's all I got. All right. I make a motion that we approve the bid for the reappraisal uh, given by New England Municipal Resource Center, the Nimerick. The bid is 257000 I have a motion by Eric. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Judy. Is there any further discussion? Okay. What, um, one of the bids is I've got 276 That's the first bid. That's the Tyler Technology. The second one is that what Eric is promoting. Nemer, it's right on the front page. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. I'm I as well. Motion is passed unanimously. Thanks, Dwayne. Thanks yeah, thank you. And uh, will Dan be the one, the go-to person, as far as signing a contract? Or yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, so we can let Nimrick know that it's been approved and we're ready to go. They're going to sign. Right. Thank you very much. That's good. Thanks a lot. Bye. -bye. All right. Number two, bid for noise house chimney repair. This is a bid to to do continued work on the noise house. Um, together by the historical society, we would ask a bid for this just because the work is, is a historical repair, not necessarily a normal repair. All right. We're trying to think um, the, the time period that the house was so on. Uh, Donnie Blake is one of those few people around that's really capable of doing that. And he's done a fine job with everything else that is done over at the noise house. <laughs> Work there. Yeah. And he's done respiration work at the place he's doing. Right. Specialty, so to speak. I did a detail a few years ago. So, do I hear a motion regarding this? A motion that we approve the bid from Donnie Blake uh, for a total budget of $25,061.30. All right. I have a motion on the floor from Eric. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Judy. Is there any further discussion regarding this? I was curious, what is what does DBI stand for? Mm -hmm. Site visit with DBI in the fall of 2020. Donnie Blake Incorporated yeah. stands for. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Can you also amend your motion to say that Donnie is a social for all purposes? Did you say that? I, that was my intent. I thought that was what I heard. That was, that was in there as well. Okay. Any further discussion? Let me let me freelance. All in favor by roll call vote, Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. I'm aye as well. Next, uh, number three, road name approval. That's the CCS development one. We'll do first. Do I hear a motion regarding this one? Uh, the, so the proposed road name is Southview Drive. It's a new drive, correct? It's the one That's just correct. east of Munson Avenue. Yeah. Cross That's road. correct. I make a motion we approve the uh, road name of Southview Drive. Uh, it's, it's farther down there. It's just before you get to Hool. Right, Hool Avenue. Avenue. On the left there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not cutting the trees. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I have a motion. Did I have a second? Second. Gary, second. Any further discussion? That's already been cleared by the 911. Yeah, they've done all that. I asked that question. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric. 
Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. I'm I as well. Motion is passed unanimously. Let's do this other one. It's another road naming. It's uh, 377 Prime L L LLC. That's the old Mandigo house, correct? Yes. That's correct. the location? That's correct. Make a motion that we approve the road name of Cheney Lane. Okay. I have a motion. Do I have a, I have a motion by Eric? Do I have a second? Second. Second by Gary. Is there any further discussion? Can you? Ex I can't figure out where this is. Is there you another? You see the I map there, Judy? Cheney Lane. Yeah, there's a map. Joe's it highlighted. Do you yeah. have that? Yes. Yeah, it's right at the top of, um, well, what I call Water Trough Hill. It's right before Best Street on the left. There's a there's a driveway right there. Okay, that's that's Dave Cheney's place. Right, it's right beside that. Oh, it's beside his driveway. That's the one that goes to his house. Yeah, that's the one that goes to his house. Yeah, the driveway going to his house is now going to be Cheney Lane because they're going to put in a couple of uh, duplexes there, so it meets a requirement for road naming. Right. Okay, thank you for clearing that up. Yes. Yeah. Okay, um, is there any further discussion? <coughs> One other question. Is Go Dave ahead. is Dave all right with that? <laughs> I would imagine so. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine. Just asking. <laughs> Good question, Brian. All in favor by roll call, Eric. All right. Gary. Aye. Judy. Aye. Brian. Aye. And I'm aye as well. Most of us passed unanimously. Uh, next, we have uh, the Lamoille FiberNet one, right? You want to add it? Yep. Jane, are you present? Or can you hear us? Yep. I'm here. Welcome. Thank you. Do you, want, do you want to talk to us about this? Um, it happens every year. Last year, you uh, appointed me as Morristown's representative and John Meyer as the alternate rep to the new communications union district. Yes. We started in July. We um, all the stuff distribution, feasibility study, business plan, some of the poll data collection, and some of the eight. We have eight towns now Cambridge, Watervale, Morristown, Belvedere, Eaton, Johnson, and Stowe. Um, there's been a lot of federal funding going through the state, and we've helped direct some of that to the uh, union district, school districts, and the libraries. And uh, we're working on bringing broadband to the area. And I would love to, and, and John would also love to uh, continue on the board. Jane, we are having a tough time hearing you. It's uh, kind of garbled like you're underwater. Oh. I, I, did, I did get most of it, but um, I don't know if everybody did hear. Most of it. Yeah. I could, yes. so I think we did hear it. Do you want me to try? It? Okay. Yeah. Is there any questions for Jane about this? Just other than all those communities jumping on board, where are we at? I mean, is, um, how is it moving along? Did you hear that, Jane, from Eric? Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Hi, Jane. Okay. Um, hi, Eric. Uh, it's moving along. We um, have done just completed the we did the feasibility study for the region and that passed the Department of Public Service. And then we just completed the business plan. And now we're starting to um, put together a committee to start reaching out to Internet service providers. The idea is that we would build and own the network and team up with consolidated or whomever in our region for them to provide the service. Um, it's going to be a multi-year process, um, but we're making good progress. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, do we need a motion for this? Make a motion we uh, renew our participation in the Lamoille Fiber and Communications Union District and appoint Jane, Cam Jane Campbell as a representative and John Meyer as the alternate. I have a motion by Eric. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by Judy. Is there any further discussion about this? 
All in favor say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And I as well. The motion is passed unanimously. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we're moving on to old business. Do we have any old business? We do not. So approve the warrant. Next. Motion to approve the warrant. I have a motion by Eric to approve the warrant. Do I have a second? Second. Gary. Oh, Gary beat you. <coughs> All in favor say aye. aye. Eric. Gary. Aye. Judy. Aye. Brian. Aye. I'm aye as well. Warrants are passed unanimously. Next is TA report. Sure, a couple things. Um, Tyler Mumley has requested an extension on our response to the Act 250 bill April 30th. Some of the consultants we need to hire are just now getting on board. It's going to take a little bit longer to do it to do it correctly anyway. I mean, we just did, but we put it um, but, you know, To that point, he has found the consultants we need for the, the noise analysis and the deal analysis um, and uh, some legal consultation just to, to review it to make sure that we've got everything right and legal. So he's moving, and it's moving along well. I mean, a lot of good work is going into it. But there's a, just a lot of work to be done and trying to get it done in, in a month was impossible. Two months was next to impossible. He's asked for that extension just so the board knows. So um, the other thing too is um, I passed out probably about 40 resumes um, for my position. Uh, Brian, if you could get, let me know when you can stop by and pick them up. Um, and I'm waiting kind of what you guys tell me what you want to do as far as how you want to schedule interviews and who you want in. So um, you know, how you want to move forward with that. I mean, really, we're right on schedule. It's the first of March. Yeah, I don't do. You, you've got the resumes, and you got to let me know how you want to move forward. Yeah. Well, we can talk about it and yeah. do it. I think once everybody reviews everything, then we can um, make a plan to to meet and decide who. Think about an interview process. Okay. Can, can I ask questions about that right now, or shall I wait? You can, Judy. So I'm wondering if the five of us cannot get together to discuss these, can we? Yes, you can. You can have a meeting. I would recommend that it be a special meeting. And since you're doing this, you can do that into an executive session. Right. Okay, great. Thanks. We have to warn it, of course. Yeah. But yes, we can. Um, I, I would highly recommend that you do that, quite frankly. Yeah. <clears throat> It's some sort of yeah. meeting to figure out how to move forward on this. Right. It's again, it's an interview. You can, that way you can talk about the applicants, um, any strengths, weaknesses, whatever. That's completely allowable. Um, yeah. We'll open a meeting, really go into executive session, and, and close the, the public part of that meeting to do that. Yeah. And I'm thinking the timeline is based on when everybody's had a chance to review them. And uh, maybe maybe next week or something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, Brian, just let me know um, when you can stop by and pick them up so I can get them to you. But I will. Everybody. Okay, great. Okay. Other than that, you know, um, the clerk's office is ready for town meeting tomorrow. So um, they've done an incredible job putting everything together. Um, so everybody out there, I encourage everybody to go vote. That's really it. And thank the clerk's office for all the hard work they've done, everything getting us to this point. That's great. Okay, next is select board concerns. Here. Something I guess I can think of. Here. Not for me. Judy? I was wondering since vaccines are starting to be distributed and people have to wait for their second vaccine and then wait two weeks after that, what are there going to be still restrictions on the amount of people that can gather in one room given that vaccines may be they may be vaccinated by then? I don't know. I, I, we haven't heard that yet, but there may I be. I haven't a, heard any guides from the governor on that at all yet. But that's a good question. I think there probably will be something coming down the line. I was thinking about the same thing, Judy, the other day. Denny. The Denny. thing I've heard is I can leave Yeah, uh, it's, it's, uh, I believe it's the Kerbal and you suffered. Yeah, we're going to see 
recommendation is 50% of your allowed capacity in a room. Uh, like what we've done with, um, what we've done up at EMS is um, our room, our, our training room, the capacity is 43. So we're allowing up to 21 in that group. Mask, distanced, uh, 21 in that group doing distancing in that room is really not practical. Uh, so in reality, it's, we're limiting to, to educational groups of 16. Um, and primarily it's been uh, uh, either, uh, it, it's been Copley staff who are fully vaccinated uh, and they're masked and they're social distancing. So 50% of the room's capacity, which our room is 43, we're allowing, we're, we can do up to 21. Is my understanding. Is that pretty much everywhere? That, is, that, that was a CDC recommendation yeah. from a few weeks ago. I haven't heard anything, you know, really. Sorry. I haven't heard anything back from the state you know, about as that being first, first, you know, received more people get back <laughs> when they're going to put any restrictions on gatherings. Right. I haven't heard anything. I haven't first seen any guidance on that. Probably a little bit early, but I think we're all hopeful for more vaccines, of course, less risk there. What, Go ahead, what's, our, what's our capacity at the room we meet in Tegu? I would say we're probably 10 is, is a good, because of everything that we have in here and really the social distance from everybody, I, I think 10 people comfortably in here is what we can do. It may be more than that, but yeah, to be safe. To be safe, I mean, the, the way I have the room laid out right now is the board, you know, we could probably get um, another table if we wanted to do some more. Yeah. We could open up the back room to keep everybody distanced. We could do 12 or 15 maybe. Yeah, I'll spend it on Go ahead, Jenny. As far as I understand, the governor hasn't changed his head. Right. right. So, until he does, right. that's what you got for a max in this room. Yeah, we have eight in here right now and we're comfortable. Yeah. Anything else? Do we have uh, any questions for Dan? Did Brian, did Brian, have any concerns? Brian, did you have a concern? I don't, but I gotta. I'd like to thank everybody's worked so hard on the the town meeting, getting it set up, and everything going. And it sounds like it's going great. And wish everybody luck. Yeah. Good luck to you, Brian. Good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any concerns. My only concern is uh, getting votes tomorrow. Yeah. But um, so, do we have any other business tonight? Is there anybody uh, that's joined us virtually have any questions or comments? I guess not. Oh, I did want to. Well, but really, thank you for your postings on Front Porch Forum and making it clear to the public, um, you know, what we've been prioritizing in the budget and why. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Actually, I want to—I did want to say something about that, and and um, I understand the public certainly wants to know what's going on and the activities we do, and I also recognize the fact that just reading minutes from a meeting doesn't give you information that you need, but the minutes are really meant to be an outline, an abbreviation, abbreviated version of what takes place. It's not like, you know, our minute taker is like a court stenographer that's, uh, you know, putting everything down as it's being said. It's just not that way. And, um, but that's the way minutes were really intended to be. I'd, I'd had some conversations with some other people and, and um, that's the way it is. But I know because of that, there's a lot of, um, a lot of people feeling like they're, that we're making decisions when we're in executive session which is really not true. We don't approve anything in executive session. We know we've never done that. We never will do that. We abide by state statute. We know what they are. Um, but having said that, if there are people that even join us virtually, even being virtually is a challenge to, to pick up everything, pick up emotion and comments and all that. And it's difficult and um, it's a trying time. But my, my encouragement is to if people have questions, come to meetings. And if you can't come to the meetings, call one of us. Um, Dan is always available. You can call his office any day. 
and I know you can call any of the select board members and myself. I put my phone number right on there, and I did actually get some calls, and I actually went and visited people today, um, which is a great thing. It's, if you don't know what's going on, there's we are never in, never secretive about anything we do, and um, I, we have uh, one gentleman always thinks he's trying to you know, pull stuff over the, the public's eye, and that's just not true. You know? I'll answer questions, Eric, Gary, Judy, and Brian, any time on any issue um, that we've talked about, or, you know, unless it's something that has to be confidential, um, and then we won't, but uh, that's pretty rare. When uh, the timeline of uh, the example is the properties that we bought and sold, and, um, you know, how that all came about, uh, all the different details, it really was disheartening to me because there was some posts on social media platforms, a couple different ones, and um, talking about you know how things went, and it just wasn't accurate. And I have to say, a lot of it is because a lot of the folks out there read the minutes and they don't see certain things in those minutes, so immediately they think we're making these approvals in executive session, and that's just not true. Um, the other thing about it is we are. We try to be 100% transparent, everything we do. We're spending the town's money because it's our money too. And I've said that 10 times at least, I'll say it another 10 times. And um, you know, I feel very strongly about everything we sold and bought this last year was the right decision for the town. And I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing that this board has voted on the whole time we've all been together. So, but I definitely, encourage people to call and come to meetings because um it's really it's really not fair to us as, as a board to have things said that really aren't accurate and when all you got to do is ask us and we'll tell you detailed detailed account i spent two hours with a, a, a people today explaining everything and they thanked me for it they were like wow we, we understand now but from what they were reading and hearing and seeing, it, it was just murky. And I, and I know that's true. And I don't fault people for not having all the information. But um, I do I do encourage people to come to meetings. And I know it's challenging right now with uh, the COVID restrictions and everything. But, but pick up the phone. My phone number is out there. My email is out there. All of our emails are there. And um, reach out to us and call us. But I'll get off my, my stump now. But... Danny, go ahead. Do you still have the option of watching on TV? Yes. Yeah. The Green Hot Access TV, I think, is actually broadcast live now. Yes. Yeah. They're actually. Yeah. So, yeah. For those people that have that. But even even saying that, that still could be a challenge at times. We've had times when we, we haven't had the broadcast. There's times when, you know, it's not a clear connection, like Jane, Jane was tonight, and it's kind of garbled. It's challenging at best. You know, it'd be a lot better if people can come in the room and hear things and be able to speak up about it, you know? So I recognize that, but I just want to put that out there. Um, that's why I kind of went and did the post I did on Front Porch Forum, and I've gotten a lot of positive reinforcement for doing that. I've had at least 20 people reach out to me, which makes me feel good in a positive way. I don't want you to read it. For that reason. Yeah. Right. But anyhow, that's, that's, that's all I have to say about that. I don't know if and the board wants to say anything or not, but um, that's all I got. No, I think you explained it well. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Make a motion to adjourn. I have a motion second. to adjourn by Eric, and I have a second by Judy. All in favor, say aye by roll call. Eric? Aye. Gary? Aye. Judy? Aye. Brian? Aye. And I make it unanimous. We are now adjourned. Have a good night. Thank you.